Hi guys, welcome back to my Bribe XVS guide. Now I'm gonna review Full Moon Cartin. So let's start from his normal form. So like other Halloween characters, he has great killers against human, demon, and reaper. 150%, so yes, three killers, very nice. And like I have predicted, he has nice evasion, 40% physical evasion. So from what I know, you are gonna need this evasion later because yeah, I heard that you kind of need 100% physical evasion on future content, okay? Almost on all characters. I'm not sure whether that's true or not, but yes, if that's true, this type of character is gonna get benefit, okay? 40% evasion are no joke. And he can chain with Bolting Strike and Stardust Ray. So two major chaining families on today meta. And for... First, Bolting Strike. This form, I can say that it is mainly used for setup because on this form, one, I mean, two of his Bolting Strike chains are meant to imbue him with water or dark element. Yes, I know he is a true dual wield attacker, so you may don't need to imbue, but still, you probably want to use this because it imperil enemy water or dark resist by 130% so yes it is above the usual number 120% very nice okay and it also boosts your water or dark damage by 50% yes 50% that's huge okay but yes the, the elemental boost only for himself and yes you can spam it unlike uh, Sephiroth which come from Grande, so this is very nice. And for the other Bolting Strike chain, he at 125% Demon, Human, Human and Reaper Killer to himself. Okay, 125%, very nice. But if you already have, let's say, like Ling or Bulwark, I forgot, basically, if you already have Buffer, then you probably don't need this. But still, the damage is pretty nice, 100 times and if you have done setup from his Brave Shift form, then you can deal like 180 times damage. So which means 50, not 50, 540 times damage per turn. Mm, probably not huge number, but for chaining moves, I can say it's decent. For Stardust Ray Chain, it deals 80 times non-elemental damage with 60% damage mitigation, so yes, he is quite tanky with this, okay? Physical efficient, nice damage mitigation, he won't go down easily. The strange thing about him is some of his abilities fill his MP, but I don't see any need for that because you will see later that even on Brave Shift form, his abilities cost zero MP, okay? Kinda crap. And yes, they dare to give us he able to break attack and magic, but yeah, he able to do that, but it's only 75%. I can say it's kind of unusable in quote on today's standard. So just ignore the attack magic break. What you want to get from this cooldown is the fist in peril and maybe self water or dark resist buff to himself. And of course, five physical evasion. Okay. And the most unique thing about this form is his limit burst. Not for the damage, I can say that the damage is kind of disappointing, only 150 times, and he doesn't have LB damage passive boost and self limit burst damage buff. So I can say that let's just forget it because he is not to he is not meant to be used as a LB damage dealer. Instead, this limit burst has something unique, okay? It Grand Dark Damage Absorbed for one turn to all allies. This is insane, guys. First, this only requires 40 Limit Burst Crystals to be used. So I can say, if in the future there is enemy who use Dark Damage, then wow, this Cartoon can easily carry your party through that battle. Okay, this is really unique because if you remember that on the past, something like this is not available. It is. It comes from like Grandis, which is kind of limited only one times per battle. But this is you can spam it. Yeah, if you make a setup, maybe let's say you use Entraster or whatever, you can almost use this every turn. 
which is amazing. Okay, so that's for the normal form. Now let's take a look on his breath shift form. So his breath shift form, I can say it is basically about the same like the normal form, but it is better. And this is the form you want to stay on because it has better attack stats and better damaging abilities. So basically the normal form is only meant for setup and yeah, if you need that dark damage absorb. Because on this form, sure, the abilities are more powerful, but you cannot imperil or imbue yourself, okay? And for Bolting Strike Chain, the first Bolting Strike Chain, he able to imperil Fist Resist by 25% and gives him two physical evasion, also 80% defense and Spirit Break. So I can say he is kind of complete. You don't need to bring, yeah, Defense Spirit Breaker, but of course you want to use 85 to 87% for more damage. But yes, this form is really nice, especially on Class of Wheels, because on Class of Wheels, he can deal like 1,200 times damage. Wow, that's huge, guys. 102,000 damage. And yeah, for Botting Strike or Sada Stray Chain. So I can say that, yes, he's really strong chainer. Okay, maybe not the best, actually, yeah, probably the best because if you cast it three three times, you can deal like 3,000, but again, you're probably not going to have maximum morale, but still, it is pretty decent. He is the best physical chainer for class of wheels, I believe, and for normal content, you can also use him as a bolting strike chainer from his grandest because Yes, his grandness is really powerful, guys. He can deal like 1,050, 1,100 after you use his Breath Shift Limit Burst, okay? 1,000 is very huge, especially because this one also grants you with Berserk, 500% attack. So Berserk stack with your normal attack buff. So, wow, he gonna have insanely hike attack stats which means 1000 yeah 1000 may sounds not a lot okay because you can get more than 1000 if you have stacked lots of limit burst damage boosts but still for chaining abilities having this kind of modifier i can say wow it's amazing okay you don't need to yeah to get 1000 you don't need to wait for class of wheels it deals that amount of damage on normal content okay very amazing and for breath shift form i can say that this breath shift form is also meant to be used for setup because yes you want to get that 20 times damage modifier for helping you on your normal abilities and yes it is bug i'm not sure whether gumi gonna finish it, fix it or not okay because they announced that this gonna mess up with maximum damage score. And again, I'm okay with that because yes, he doesn't have any self-limit burst damage buff or passive. Even when you're able to get, let's say, 600% limit burst damage, it still only deal like 1050 times, same like his grandest ability. So what's the point? of trying too hard. You better gear him with, let's say, killers, etc. Okay, so I think that's all you need to know about his breath shift and normal form. And I can say he is pretty straightforward to use. Basically, what you want to do when you use him is to imbue himself with elements, water or dark. And yes, the strongest attack is his grandest, not his limit burst. So yes, he let, let just use his bolting strike this immediately okay so that's all for breath shift let's compare him to other characters so if you compare him to premium attackers like Severod, tifa of course yes like other attackers he gonna lose but cartin has something that can mitigate those losses so 
many characters lose because they are attacks that cannot keep up with Tifa or Sephiroth. But because Cartin can get extra attack plus 500% from his Berserk, I can say that wow, he can keep up with Sephiroth or Tifa in terms of attack stats. Okay, and the best part is he is simple to use. No need to worry about, oh, I need to fill him with burst gauge or whatever. Simply imbue yourself and then go to Brave Shift Form, use the grandness. Easy peasy, okay? And yes, the attack modifier. Yes, let's use Sephiroth for example, okay? 350 times with 600% limit burst damage, you can deal like 2000 damage modifier. So yes, Cartin only deal 1050 on normal content. So of course, Sephiroth gonna be more powerful. But again, on class of wheel, I can say that they are about the same. And with, yeah, I believe that Cartin probably gonna have higher attack stats after Berserk. And yes, Cartin can win. And the best part is Cartin is a chainer. Usually, chainer damage cannot be compared to finisher but this time cartin brings something to the table okay really nice grandis has three charges which is enough for today's content okay and if you compare him to let's say lara croft because she is also limited unit and released recently i can say that with berserk cartin is much much better okay because yes all the limited, yeah, I mean, all the normal DPS have the exact same weakness, like I said. But because Cartin has Berserk, wow, he gonna outclass uh, other normal DPS because of this Berserk. Okay, and if you compare the damage modifier, uh, Lara Croft may probably, not probably, will be more powerful on class of wheels, but she is weaker on normal content because on normal content her grandest breath shift only deal like 300 times while cartin on normal content he can deal like 1050 times but again this grandest affect all enemies so i'm not sure how this affect but because it is same on the same ability i believe cartin will unleash three bolting strike okay because it is not separated uh, separated abilities okay so that's for comparison my conclusion for cartin he is very strong on normal content and class of will yes on class of wheels lara is probably stronger but again yes the difference between normal and class of wheels are not huge so yes i can he find balance that's all i can say and finally it's not all about limit burst okay i'm kind of tired because oh oh this limit burst next character re re release oh it's all limit burst simply different element but no yes it's not all about limit burst okay something maybe yes only a little bit change but at least it is different and the grandest it is three charges and yes it's probably more than enough for today's content right three charges quite enough and yeah the things i don't like is his strongest attack is only for bolting strike chain so bolting strike is nice but yes i simply prefer starter three because it is really easy to chain and it has long chaining time Bolting Strike, it is still fast, so yes, it is basically a matter of preference, okay? It is not bad, but yes, I prefer Stardust Raid. And the Trust Master Reward and STMR, I can say they are not that interesting. They are not bad, okay, but it is not something I will chase. And yes, the best part is finally you don't need to worry about limit burst damage, okay? And yeah. That's a good thing because usually after maxing your limit burst damage, you kind of lack slots for killers. But because Cartin doesn't need limit burst damage, he can equip killers, which lead to another good thing about him. 
Okay, so in the end, I can give him 9.5 out of 10. If you ask me, should you pull for Cartin now? To be honest, I really want him, okay? Because the damage is nice and also the absorb dark damage. It is really unique and probably, maybe not probably, maybe gonna be useful on future trials. But again, really cannot say anything. If you ask me whether you are regret pulling for Ibarra or not, I must say yes, I'm kind of regret, okay? If I know this card is gonna be this good, I probably not gonna pull Ibarra on last week. But still, I really cannot recommend you to pull for Cartin because he is DPS and yes, in front of our eyes, there will be stronger DPS, okay? So yes, he will be outclassed, but again, the absorb dark damage is nice. So ask yourself whether you need powerful chainer or not okay and whether you like bolting strike or not if yes then i can what i can say right now is yes he is worth your lapis but should you pull him or not really cannot answer that okay personally i really want and i probably try my luck okay, using my lapis but that's on another video okay so yeah thank you very much for watching please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more final fantasy Perfect, you just got. Bye bye, guys.